Hi, and Happy New Year. We're back at the beautiful Shea Josephine restaurant on Theater Row with our show about shows. I'm joined with my friend and New York One colleague, Frank Delella, and the ever prolific Tom Meehan, the writer of such classic musicals as Annie, now in revival, Hairspray, The Producers, Chaplin, and most recently, Rocky Das Musical. Yavo. <laughs> Welcome, Tom. Let's talk about Rocky. What was it like to work with Sly Stallone on this show? Well, uh, Everyone has an idea what Sly Stallone, I don't know if they can say the name, so yes. Sly Stallone is like, and they think he's like Rocky Balboa, and he's not. He's, he's this kind of extremely bright, charming, interesting man, uh, a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of brains. And uh, it, it was, it was uh, when I first met him, uh, I, he wanted to do the musical of Rocky. And it was arranged. I'd go up to his house in Beverly Hills, at the top of Beverly Hills. It's way up. Uh, there's a mesa in the top where this huge Spanish hacienda is Sly's home. I went there, and he took me into his private screening room, which is about the size of Roxy, <laughs> and, and we watched Rocky together. And I, I had the idea that he might be right about it being musical. When they, when we saw it together, I saw it. Yes, it is. It's got all the elements of a musical. It's particularly a great love story and a great uh, uh, kind of uh, David Goliath story. Mm. Uh, Tom, you were the first one uh, brought on board with uh, Sly to do Rocky, and then you guys went on this uh, massive search to find the songwriters. I understand you went to R. Kelly, and you finally ended up with uh, Aronson Flaherty, who wrote Ragtime, Seussical, Once on this Island. Just talk a little bit about that journey. Well, uh, Sly had the idea that we should use uh, existing uh, California big-time uh, songwriters for movies and uh, and for records, and he came up with R. Kelly, who was in <laughs> Chicago. And he and I flew to Chicago and met with R. Kelly, and R. Kelly was working at the time on a series of songs about the Vietnam War, believe it or not, and in a warehouse, and it was a third floor of a huge warehouse at the edge of Chicago. He put built a jungle, and there was, there was a kind of jungle, and they were all wearing camouflage, and we got off and over there to walk <laughs> into this jungle and had to fight our way through the it was machetes to get to R. Kelly. What a scene. It was, it was, it was the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. Uh, R. R. Kelly did not work out as a yeah. songwriter, but it was an adventure of a lifetime. But I kept saying this, like, this really calls for an experienced Broadway songwriting team, mm -hmm. and I think I know the people who could do it. Mm -hmm. so, so I went to Aaron's Florida with the idea of Rocky, and they both looked at me like I was crazy. <laughs> uh, they then read the script, and I, we looked at the movie together, and they looked at each other and said, yes, you're right. This could be a musical. Uh, the stagecraft in, in Germany was amazing. You yeah. actually have a full-fledged boxing ring right. as part of the... the Which comes the down from above and swings out over the audience. Mm. It's quite a, quite, a, quite a moment. Whose idea, came, uh, whose idea was that? Did you come up with it uh, in connection with Alex Timbers and the set designer? I think it was all of us together. We're talking about making that happen. And Stephen Hockett did the it's, it's the boxing so choreography. Brought Stephen Hockett into it. Yeah. And but the idea of actually having that uh, uh, having the ring come out like as as it is and, and the whole deal that we have there extraordinary is, is from Chris Baraka, we, who's the set designer. We have to close, but I want to just talk a little bit about your other projects. You are doing a musical adaptation of Tootsie, Tootsie. of Dave, and, Dave yeah. and and also, when are we likely to see Rocky, whatever you can tell us about it, well, in New York? There's a, a search on for a theater now, yeah. and there are many uh, theater owners interested, mm. and uh, it looks like it's somewhere, not this year, Some, somewhere down the line. Well, great. Great. You'll have Rocky. You're going to have Chaplin touring the United States. And uh, it doesn't sound like you're too busy, Tom. we got to get you working on more I know. Things. I'd like to do another two shows. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Frank. That's Perfect. it for this edition of our show about shows. Meanwhile, you can follow me at playbyplay at artinfo.com. Thanks for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you again. Mm -hmm.